Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you guys about party planning. I mean like party planning basically where you do everything yourself. Nothing that's inside of a box, you actually have to plan the theme. And I thought it's really, really helpful because sometimes you can get overwhelming when you just don't want to grab Spongebob or you don't want to grab, you know, um, Bratz or anything like that. So I am planning a party for my little girl. She's turning two um, and her name is Jalen. And the theme basically for this, it's kind of like diva um, meets princess meets cheetah all together in one pretty much. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to do the first thing is going to be the invitations. And they actually look like this. This is the outside. This um, is actually what we sent as an envelope. And this actually is like a card that you would write in like a greeting card or a thank you card that we got from Hobby Lobby. So it's meant to be this way and then you open it. But we just turn it the other way. It's actually a sticker. And it was just a very long one. And so we wrapped it around. So that way it tied in the back. Um, and then... We just sealed it. And so on the inside, uh, the top of it, it just says um, Princess Jalen's second birthday. And at the bottom, it's just the address of where it's going to be and where to RSVP. But these invites, just the invite itself, not the actual card, we actually got from Etsy from a seller. And I'll link it down below if you're interested in these. They're really nice. They were like 12 bucks. Um, she made them for us and then we just print them off and we, you know, adhered them to the card. And then the back, or the bottom of it, I'm sorry, is actually a rubber stamp um, that we just stamped on and added um, leopard kind of rhinestones on the crown and then a J and an M for her initials. So that's that and that's basically where it all came from. There was also a blog post for a party that someone else did for the little girl, which is pretty much the same thing, which is pretty much where I got a lot of these ideas from. And I'll also post that down below in the description bar. So we're going to go ahead um, and jump into everything that I kind of got so far. I have a lot of things spread around, so I'm just kind of looking at it all. Basically, what you want to do is figure out what you want. And it doesn't need to necessarily make sense. Like I said, mine didn't really make sense. I mean, pink and cheetah and princess, they kind of go together, but it wasn't really something um, that you can just go to the store and buy. And I did happen to find someone who did the exact same thing that I wanted to do. So I just kind of, you know, took a lot of advice from her. But I knew that I wanted pink. I knew that I wanted leopard. And I knew that I wanted, like, crowns and things like that. So I basically just went with that. I'm also having um, everyone bring a tutu for the little girl. And I'm going to show you the tutu that I made for my little girl. It looks like this. And it's a bit crazy because it's been on the floor for a little bit. But basically it looks like this. It's very, very cute. Um, and I just basically took um, just tool and tied it and then just different colors different patterns to get this so there's that um, and then I basically I picked up a couple different like crowns um, here's the first one and I got this one from Hobby Lobby and it was $19.99 but I got her 50% off so I got this one and I got two other ones that are in black just like this and my theory on this is to spray paint them all um, I just got metallic spray paint from Hobby Lobby as well this color is gonna be like a bronzy gold color and then I was going to take um, this kind of iridescent glitter right here and sprinkle it over the um, spray paint while it's still wet. And then I was going to apply rhinestones to them. And they're going to be like cute little centerpieces. This pink one actually is going to be the top for her cake, but the other two black ones are going to be used for centerpieces. And inside of the centerpieces, I was going to take these apart. Um, and they're just fake um, flowers that I got from Hobby Lobby as well. So I was going to take them apart and then um, kind of have them sticking out and I thought that would look really really cute. And also for the table and the centerpieces I got these. Um, they're crystal um, dazzlers and there was like little small gems or diamonds and I'll just put them around um, the crown on the table and I thought that would look really really cute. As far as more decoration, um, I got different size of picture frames that look like this from Hobby Lobby as well. I got this one and a lot of these little bitty ones. Um, basically, this one is going to be like the welcoming picture frame and it's going to say welcome to Jalen's birthday party, you know, um, and basically any instructions that they'll need to do. And then I'm also going to change it at the end and just say thank you for coming. Don't forget to grab a bag. Also use these for... Um, 
the snack table and the um, dessert table because we're making small um, crown cookies and we're also making two different types of mini cupcakes. So it'll be nice to let them know, you know, these to the right are going to be vanilla cupcakes and these to the left are going to be chocolate. Another thing that I got was this crown and it's actually really, really big. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to spray paint these or not. I just kind of grabbed them and if I didn't need them, I was just going to return them. But um, these I was going to use maybe to put up on the wall um, or just kind of put around maybe uh, the drink tables. The good thing about her party actually is why I'm investing so much is mainly because all of this stuff that I have, um, the crowns and the picture frames, I'm actually changing her room around so that way when I do change her room out it's going to be kind of this theme. So I'm still going to use all this stuff afterwards as her um, plates and then these little napkins are so cute. And I got these from Paper Style and I'll put a link below for these as well. But um, they're you know pretty cheap and they're you know perfectly themed with her party. And so I got a little bit of stuff to put actually inside of the gift bag. Um, and I'll show you that. So first off I just got this paddle board. I got um, these princess wands and all this stuff I got from Party City and they were pretty cheap. They were like, you know, 99 cents or $3.99 or something for a pack so they are really, really good. And then I got these 12 hair bands, these thin attitude bracelets is what they're called, and the glittery bounce balls. And, um, these bubbles, they're pink or the case is pink with a pink heart of nail polish. So they come in three different um, colors. And they're kind of shaped like a rose. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, they're really, really cute. I think that's it. Um, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. Just write it down in um, the comments and I'll try to answer as much as I can. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!